Welcome. We're here today at Stirk Family Law and we're welcoming Margo McDermott, who is the state representative for District 37, where Stirk Family Law is located. And today we're going to talk about the recent mental health bill. So it's so exciting. Welcome, Margo. We Thanks, appreciate Gwen. your time coming in. Now, I know you're a strong advocate for mental health in Illinois, and I know that recently you sponsored a very unique bill. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, this is a mental health parity bill. And when you talk about mental health parity, what you want to see is that coverages for mental health are equivalent to coverages for physical health, so that you have the same amount of uh, treatments sure. and visits and um, um, the same amount of like drug therapies available to you as someone who had some kind of physical ailment. Right, if you think about it, if you're a diabetic or you have a blood pressure problem, how is that different from having a mental health issue that simply is a chemical imbalance that you have to treat through medication and have some kind of parity? Because if you don't, why are we favoring one versus the other? So I think this is a great topic to be addressing here in Illinois. So tell us what you did. Well, um, the, a bill came uh, before us, which I was really happy to sponsor, to try to fill in some of the gaps of uh, mental health parity that we have in Illinois. Parity has been the federal law for a number of years. Notwithstanding that, there were some gaps in Illinois. There were some employers, and in particular, um, school districts that were able to opt out of the requirement to provide uh, parity for mental health coverage. I had a constituent come to me and bring this to my attention and until she came and told me that her school district wasn't covering um, in an equal way the, some mental health right. treatments that she needed, I had no idea that such a thing was possible. Right, I mean you wouldn't <laughs> think that of all things. I mean you go to yeah. a school, they have school counselors, you would think that they would be interested not only in the mental health of their students, but also of the teachers and their own right. employees, right? And you know, so many uh, mental health issues can be managed if you have proper treatment and Absolutely. counseling right. and follow-ups. Right. And you know, they, these were not covered by her plan. So this is one of the things that that bill did, was just like get rid of all those exemptions to the extent that they still existed out there. Well, how do you enforce a bill like this? They're required to come forward and certify that they are now compliant. So I that's think that's fantastic. A, yeah, that's a good bill. Right. I think that's a, some good work. That's moving forward. Now, I know that there is, I think it was called the Kennedy Forum that was involved in this. Can you tell us a little bit about them? The Kennedy Forum is national, but they're very active here in the state of Illinois um, advocating for mental health issues. So to bring mental health issues out of the dark rooms, out of the back rooms, sure. right. where you know every family is impacted by mental health issues, but yet we, we treat them differently than, say, diabetes. Right, and you would think that we could get out of that old thought pattern, right? Right, and one of the things they do is they have an, a day uh, every year where people come and talk about how mental health issues have impacted their lives. You know, just everybody go to a dinner table and talk to other people in your neighborhood or in your town or in sure. your community about how this has affected you. And they even do that in Springfield, which has been very good for us. That's fantastic. And right. they were one of the people that brought forward this, this parity bill. That's great, you know, because it really is true. There is no difference between physical or mental health. There are two things, and but for the grace of God go I, we could be the next one of any kind of those circumstances that you could be led into, correct? One of the things I found by going to that the day that they have every year is that it does in fact affect every family. Right, and so. it's just a real, it's a real unique area. And I have to tell you, as a family law practitioner, we see that issue regularly, and it is true that you never know when it's gonna hit, you don't know what family member is going to be affected, and you have to tap into the resources that you have. So here at our office at Cirque Family Law, we have a lot of resources for mental health. We have referrals, we have um, agencies we can get you to to try to help you identify these problems. We're not doctors, we're not physicians, but we can certainly refer you to those resources. And I know, Margo, with your heart, for the mental health issues that are here in Illinois, you also have that ability to do so. So how can somebody contact you to be able to get this information if they need it? RepMcDermott.com. That's great. So we appreciate your time today and what a great bill.